filmed a words differences video like this in the past where I talked about different words that we use that mean the exact same thing as in other countries but that are completely different. I don't think that sentence made sense. For example, what you call fries, we call chips. What you call chips, we call crisps. You say pop in the hood, we say pop in the bonnet. <laughs> Words like that. Obviously I'm generalising here and you might come from another country and you might say some of these words as well. I'm sort of targeting the US because the majority of my audience are from the US so that's why that's the title of the video. But I do understand that you might also use some of these words. Also people that live here maybe use don't use all these words. So I just want to get that wee disclaimer out there that I know that this isn't going to apply to everybody. So yeah if you saw that video then I have a whole list of other ones that might help you when you come visit here so that you aren't like what? Now you can be like ah oh, that means that got it. Before I get into the words, if you're new to this channel, I'm Erin. I'm from Scotland, if you didn't guess already. And I make videos about Scotland, the outdoors, periods, mental health, gin, and just life in general. And 70% of people that watch my videos aren't subscribed. So if you like the sound of that, then you should click subscribe. You don't have to, but it would mean a lot. Okay, onto the words. A lot of these are ones that you left in the comments of the last video. But I'm going to start with some car related ones. What you would call gas, we call petrol. We put petrol in our car or diesel, but you say gas. So a gas station, we would call a petrol station. But to be honest, I wouldn't really say petrol station. I would say garage. We're going to the garage. And I know that in the US, a lot of you will say garage, garage. <laughs> but we say the garage. Go to the garage to get petrol. And again, what you would call the mechanic, we would just call it the garage. You're putting the car into the garage. It's, there's so many garages. <laughs> but also the person that works in the garage is a mechanic. Like, we still use that word, but I wouldn't say, I'm putting the car into the mechanic or the car's at the mechanic. I would say, oh, the car's in the garage. This was one that can, this confuses a lot of people. Pants. So what you call pants, we call trousers. <laughs> Well, not all the time. A lot of times we specify what type of pant it is. So I would say jeans or leggings or, I don't know, joggies. I'm not going to say I'm going to put my pants on because for us pants is underwear. Pants is knickers. <laughs> if I said pants, I'd be referring to my underwear, the bottoms, the the knickers, the... Yeah, I nearly said panties, but that, that word disgusts me. I hate that word. Some more clothing related ones. Overalls. Right, this was a, this was a wee thing that came to my attention recently because I got myself a pair of dungarees. I love dungarees. We call them dungarees but a lot of people messaged me to say oh we call them overalls, we don't call them dungarees and I was like oh overalls to me are maybe what the mechanic would wear like a, a jumpsuit, a boiler suit. That's what I think of when I think of overalls you know, I don't know. And then a lot of people gave me different versions of that type of thing as well, which was interesting. What you would call a vest, like a, to wear with a suit, or maybe even not with a suit, but just, you know, like a man's vest. We call it a waistcoat, a tank top. I have occasionally heard people here saying tank top, but only, like, it's not a common thing that I hear. What you would call tank top, I would just call a top, or a vest, or a strappy top. Like, if it has a little spaghetti straps, I don't call it that. I would just call it a strappy top but lots of people would just say a vest top or a top or yeah, just a top. <laughs> How many times can you say top in a sentence? A purse. Ow. <laughs> what you would call a purse, I'd just call it a bag or a handbag. So I've left my handbag on the train. You would say I've left my purse on the train, but a purse for us is a, a wallet. So I'd put money in my purse and I'd keep my purse in my bag, if that makes sense. A clothes pin, we call them pegs, clothes pegs. <laughs> That's a simple one. A line. You're standing in line. We say queuing. We're standing in a queue. I would never say I'm standing in a line. I would say I'm standing in a queue. Or there's a big queue. There's a big queue. Right now there's big queues outside the supermarkets. But I wouldn't say there's a, a line outside. A line here is something completely different. <laughs> jelly. We call jelly jam. This is where it all gets quite confusing. So you're jello. We call jelly. But your jelly is our jam. A zucchini, courgette, eggplant, we're all familiar with that emoji. Eggplants are aubergines here. Eggplant's much more fun to say but aubergines. Spelled like aubergines. No it's spelled like aubergines. <laughs> anyway. Cilantro. I don't even know if I'm saying that right because I know that you say it like cilantro. I don't know 
cilantro. It's spelled like cilantro. Here it's coriander. And I hate coriander. Hate it. Oh. Also, coriander's a herb. But I know that you say herb. <laughs> but to me, I would just be saying herb. If I didn't pronounce the H, it would be herb. But we call them herbs. Poor H getting left out. But to be fair, coriander and cilantro come from the same plant, but they have different uses. In lots of places, the stems and the leaves are called coriander and the seeds are called coriander seeds. But in the US, cilantro is the name of the stems and the leaves and the dried seeds are called coriander. It's very confusing. Takeout, we all love a takeout. We call them takeaways. We, we don't say takeout. Takeout food, it's takeaway food. Or sometimes a carryout, we'll get a carryout. But a lot of times here, a carryout is alcohol. Go get a carryout, go and get some booze. Speaking of booze, a bar. We call them pubs. I would never say I'm going to a bar. I would say I'm going to a pub. Love a pub. I've been to a pub in ages. I'm a member of pubs. <laughs> nope. <laughs> but yeah, I wouldn't say I'm going to a bar. But I was going to say we say bar crawl, but I would still say pub crawl. So never mind. <laughs> the faucet. Tap. The water's coming at the tap. Do you know what? I once met a, a, Westy, a West Highland Terrier dog called Fawcett. <sighs> a closet? I would not say closet. We say wardrobe or cupboard. We don't say closet. If you're going to get your groceries or your grocery shopping, we don't say groceries. I would say I'm going for my shopping. I'm going for my food shopping. I wouldn't even say food shopping. I would just say I'm going shopping. And in Scotland, we say we're going for our messages. Not everyone says it here, but a lot of people do say I'm going for my messages. And when you say you're going for your messages, you know that someone's going for their food shopping. A restroom? I would say toilet. <laughs> Where's the toilet? Just specify exactly what you want. Where's the toilet? Or if I'm being really polite, I'll say bathroom. But mainly I would say, do you have a toilet? Where's your toilet? Excuse me. Where's your, where's your lavvy? I wouldn't say lavvy. I know that Canada say washroom. I don't know if that's accurate or where I heard that, but and I don't know. I, I assume a lot of people in the US and Canada would maybe both say washroom and restroom, I don't know. But in a pub or a cafe or anything, an establishment, I would say, excuse me, where's your toilet? Bathroom if I'm feeling fancy, rare. I say loo sometimes for a joke, but oh, where's your loo? I do sometimes say it. Bog, bog roll. I don't say bog. I don't know anyone that says bog. Lavy is a Scottish word for lavatory, but you, you, I don't really hear that either. Um, kludgy, kludgy is a great Scottish word for toilet, which I rarely hear anymore, which is a shame. Yeah, toilet, toilet all the way. In the last one, I think I mentioned soccer. So what you call soccer, we call football, and your football is, we don't have that, but our equivalent that's kind of similar to your football is rugby. We have rugby, don't ask me the rules, don't ask me what the difference is. I have no idea. I'm not into sports. But I know that that's when I see American football, that it just makes me think they're playing rugby, but I know I know it's different. The field, what you call the field, I'd call it the pitch. What was the guy streaking on the pitch? If you know the game, if there was a tie in the game, we call it a draw. I guess some people here would say tie, I guess. Like a tiebreaker. I wouldn't say a drawbreaker. <laughs> but when when yeah, when there's a tie, we call it a draw. I would always say oh, it's a draw. But oh, also, speaking of food, in the last one I mentioned um, what you would call a lawn, we would call a garden. I sounded dead Scottish there, a garden. We call it a garden. Um, but then I think someone said that they would call their vegetable garden a garden. Garden somewhere that they grow veg. But somewhere that we grow veg, I would just call it a plot or a vegetable garden. But I would I'd say oh, like a few of the elderly people I support have plots in a certain area and they'll say I'm just going to the plot which means they're going to go and tend their veggies yeah like that the plot this is one that I think would divide a lot of people cookies cookies to me cookies are cookies we call we, you call cookies we call biscuits it's cookies are cookies and also cookies chocolate chip cookie that's also a biscuit biscuits what you call biscuits I'm pretty sure we call them scones or scones depending on where you're from there's a big debate about that but Scones, I say scone, but a biscuit is a scone, I think. Maybe they're totally different. I'm sure I've had this conversation with someone before. I might be mixing that up, but anyway, your biscuits look like scones, just saying. When you say you're going to get your shots, you're going to get your your shots, you know. Here in Scotland are jags, 
and I think they're Jags in some parts of England as well, unsure about Northern Ireland and Wales, or Ireland as well, don't know. Yeah, we'd say Jags, a lot of places say Jabs, but Scotland mainly say Jag, but I know that you call them getting your shots. Shots here are just shots, you know, like shots, 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 you know. Some more car related stuff that should have been at the beginning, your blinker or your turn signal. I'd say my indicators. I'd call them, I wouldn't say blinkers, and I would say, um, I'd either say I'm indicating or I'm signalling, mainly indicating. I'm indicating, you know, showing people where I'm going. A fun one, right? Fun one. You ready? Aluminum. Aluminium. We call it aluminium. Aluminium is just, you're not pronouncing the letters, the, you know, the, the way that... <laughs> aluminium. 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 Do I say aluminium or aluminium? I think I say aluminium. There's no Y in it, so I can't exactly talk, but anyway, moving on. Your male, your male man or male woman. Post, we call it the post. Oh, the posts come through the door. There's the postman, there's the postwoman. I'm gonna post a letter. Zip code, postcode. We love post, <laughs> but we call it a postcode. Zip code's quite, quite like that though. It's like zip code. Fall, here, the season fall is autumn. We call it, or autumn, sorry I've sounded very Scottish today. Autumn, I would never say autumn. I do not pronounce my T's a lot of the time. Autumn, fall. I love that, it's so literal, like why, why is it called fall? Because the leaves fall. <laughs> An eraser, here we call erasers rubbers. And I know rubbers are condoms. We, we call condoms condoms, or in Scotland a lot of the time we call them Johnny's. <laughs> why am I suddenly talking about condoms? We're meant to be talking about rubbers, erasers. In school, you'd say, can I borrow your rubber? Yeah, ha ha ha, eraser. <laughs> what you would call a flashlight, we say torch. Although I know a torch a lot of the times, like the torch with the fire, but no, a torch is a flashlight here. A game of tic-tac-toe. We call tic-tac-toe knots and crosses. Very simple. <laughs> the highway or the freeway, here it's the motorway. Or the one that we have, I don't know, I'm thinking of one nearby that's two lanes, we call it a dual carriageway. The one with like all the lanes, two lanes, three lanes, four lanes is the motorway. <laughs> the crosswalk, here is the zebra crossing. I'm so glad I didn't do an American, sort of American accent for all of these words because that would have been embarrassing, but yeah. Crosswalk, don't know what it was about crosswalk that made me want to do the accent, but I was feeling it there. The I zebra crossing, or zebra, I don't say zebra. My friend Amy says zebra, which I find very strange because I see that as an American pron pronunciation. Can't even say pronunciation. Pronunciation. Ones that I've noticed and I've heard people saying in the US, and I see people like YouTubers and people and things saying this, saying these things all the time. When you would say, I forgot my purse at home. Okay, well, let's not use purse because that's confusing. So I forgot my phone at home. We wouldn't say, I forgot my phone at home. I'd say, I forgot my phone. Or I would say, I left my phone at home. I left my phone in the house. I would never say I forgot my phone at the house because that's just not a sentence structure that we use at all. You wouldn't say you forgot something at something. You'd say you forgot something and then you say where you forgot it, but you wouldn't. I don't know if I'm making sense, but we just don't say that. And the one that I have a bit of beef with it, right? I could care less. If you could care less, means that you care. You mean to say, I couldn't care less. It means you couldn't care any less, but if you could care less, it means that you, you care. Does that make sense? It's I couldn't care less. That's all I'm just saying. I'm just saying, don't come at me. Just pointing it out. So those are some US slash UK slash Scotland slash British in other countries uh, word differences. Let me know if you have any others down below. I'll leave the last video in the description. I'm going to film a video about my USA airport experience because it was nuts and I met a lot of interesting people so I want to make a whole video about the people I met. If you're interested I have a video about, it's a story time about when I met two Americans on a train in Scotland. It was just nuts and then it was what happened when I met them and then what happened when me and them then bumped into two Scottish people that were just nuts and yeah go and watch that video if you haven't seen it. It's, it's exhausting. Anyway that yeah that's the video thanks for watching. Just to let you know as well I have a Patreon page um, if you want to get involved with Patreon, you can become a patron for as little as £3 a month. Don't forget to subscribe, click the notification bell if you want notified of when I upload. Hope you enjoyed this and um, let me know what other kind of videos you want to see in the comments below. Let's all have a discussion about our different, our different words.
Okay, bye.